All right. Hey, this is Jeffrey Powers, and you are on the Geekazine Live Show. We have had the question about uh, about different websites and stuff like that, and, and just a good way to, to to check things out and see uh, see how to uh, you know if if you need to find where the the website is going. I was we were talking about Traceroute, and it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you here, and we'll just do a let me just do a follow cursor. Yeah, let's do it that way. So I'm going to switch over from the screen to follow cursor. Is that working? No, that's not working. Yeah, okay, that's really nice. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll do it this way. There's our window. And it's still not letting me do it, so I just got to do this really quick. All right. I'm going to do a trace route here. Watch this. Trace route. And we'll do something like www.ustream.tv. Now, the first set of numbers is my... is my webcam... my... my router and then it goes to my basically my my cable provider and then it goes out of there and it goes to Chicago and from Chicago it's going to Denver from Denver it's going to San Jose from San Jose it's going to Los Angeles from Los Angeles it's going to web.ustream.tv and that's trace root and, and it's just basically trace t r a c e Root R T. Now let's do something different, like uh, www.bbc.com. We'll go over the pond here, since uh, we're talking with Steve, and he's from Well to figure it all out, and then it's it's going to make the trek. It's going to go to Chicago again, um, Chicago. This time it'll go to New York, and then from New York it's going to hop the pond to London, and then from London it is going to go to uh, 195 IP address and then a 212 IP address, and then www.6.telhc.bbc.co.uk. And yes, you could go to bbc.co.uk, but they've also registered bbc.com for, for general uh, web stuff. I hate to say for the United States, because that's not true, because you could be anywhere and, and have a .com. So, so this, is, this is the trace route feature, and, and you can really find anything... Um, this will take me to dig.com and of course this will also go through Chicago it'll probably go back through Los Angeles and, and through Denver through Los Angeles through to digs uh, home in California somewhere <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna do one I think I, can, I know one from Hawaii uh, unless unless he does all that in the United States oops Okay, that's going to come out of the router, go to my cable provider, go to 172 address, some nodes, uh, then it, it bypasses Chicago, and I'm not sure where CG Sill is, uh, it's an AT&T thing, so it's going through AT&T routers. And then it's going to lead to PHX. That could be Phoenix, possibly. And then it's going to stop right there. <laughs> so you, that's the one problem with trace route, is every now and then it will stop. And time out. So, hey, Norb Tech, by the way. Uh, and it's probably going to time out from there. So... This is the trace route feature, and of course you can do it on any machine. I know you can do it on a Mac, and you can do it on a PC. Slightly different nomenclature, maybe for the Mac, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm misremembering, but uh, okay. Now this ended up, and it actually went to uh, a secure server, and that's which is probably going somewhere else, which we won't know because it's a secure server. So that is basically in a nutshell the whole 
bit and piece to the uh to that part <laughs> that being the uh, uh finding out where a website is and just check it out check it out and see where uh where you can go and uh, when you do the trace route so for the Geekazine Weekly Show, or the live show, uh, my name is Jeffrey Powers, www.geekazine.com, geekazine at gmail.com, or 608-205-4378. Thanks for watching.